In this video, I'm going to go in details in what change in state of delivery or CISD is. And I'm also going to show you a few examples. So a change in state of delivery is a series of order blocks or a order block. So whenever price touches a high time frame resistance level, and then we get a few up close candles up to the high time frame resistance level, we want to see price closing below the lowest up close candles. And don't worry, I'm going to show you examples in the charts and that will make it a lot easier to understand. But then when price touches, or sorry, closes below the lowest up close candles body, that is a change in state of delivery. So we usually want to see price retrace up to the change in state of delivery or the series of order blocks and then going lower targeting liquidity. So now that we know a change in state of delivery is series of order blocks or a order block, we can go into the charts and find some examples of this. So for the first example, we see price of taking out these London lows. And we had two down close candles that took out the London lows, which is our change in state of delivery. So whenever price closes above these two down close candles, and it's important uh, to note down the price only needs to close above the highest opening of these two down close candles, as you read at the opening of this candle's body and not the wick. We see price close above it, creating a change in state of delivery. And in the meantime, we also create a inversion value gap that I've made a video about that you can go watch and learn about that. So we create an inversion value gap, which, which also give us confirmation that price is willing to go higher, taking out buy side liquidity. And also when we made the change in state of delivery, we also created a value gap. So we have three possible trade entries. The first one is the top of the value gap. Second one is the change in state of delivery. And the third one is the inversion value gap. So first of all, let's see what happens if you enter at the top of the value gap and then put your stop loss at the bottom of the change state of delivery because we don't want to see price trade down to the bottom of uh, a change state of delivery. And if it, were, if it were bearish at the top, and then we would target buy side liquidity, which is up here. But that would only create a 1.2 R. So in that case, we would target higher buy side liquidity all the way up here, which would create a 2.3 R. So for the second scenario, we could enter at the change in state of delivery right here and then put a stop loss at the bottom of the change in state of delivery which we don't want to see get traded back to and then target by side liquidity which doesn't create a 2R so in that case we target this by side liquidity which creates a 3R so for the last scenario we could enter at the inversion for early gap and put our stop loss at the bottom of the change state of delivery and then target buy side liquidity which eventually creates a 2R. So just to give you a bit of view of this, price takes out the London lows creating high resistance liquidity that I've made a video about and after that we close above the inversion for early gap which is one confirmation that price is willing to go higher. And second, we close above the change in state of delivery, which is two confirmations. So right here we have a series of water blocks and a inversion value gap. And third, we get a market structure shift, which also gives confirmation that price is willing to go higher. And as you see, price goes down to the market structure shift, change in state of delivery, inversion value gap, and this value gap, and then go higher. So in general, we have four confirmations that price is willing to go higher, which is enough to take a trade entry, in my opinion. And then we could put the stop at the bottom, as I said before, because we don't want to see price trade down to the bottom to change state of delivery. 
also because this is high resistance liquidity. So for the next example, we see price of taking out sell side liquidity, and then price makes a inversion for value gap, confirming that price is willing to go higher, also creating a change in state of delivery. And the reason this is a change in state of delivery is because price closes above the opening candle of these two down close candles. So already here we have two conf confirmations that price is willing to go higher. So if you looked at this as a order block right here, you can see that this order block is within this inversion failure gap also combined with this failure gap. So if you were to take a trade entry, you could enter at the bottom of the failure gap and then put your stop below the change in state of delivery or the new lows after we took out sell side liquidity and then target buy side liquidity. But that doesn't make a good or so you could zoom out and target these size up here, creating a free risk reward ratio, as you see right here. So as you see, price takes out sell side liquidity, also creating high resistance liquidity and at these intermediate term lows. And then after that, we see price closes above this inversion for early gap, confirming that price is willing to go higher. And then after that, we see price closes above the highest opening candle of the change in state of delivery, also confirming that price is willing to go higher. So now we have already two confirmations. After that, we see price goes down to the low candle of the change in state of delivery, respecting the consequent encouragement. And then after that, we see price going higher taking out buy sell liquidity up here. So right here we see price taking out buy sell liquidity. And then after that, we see price closing below the candle that took out the buy sell liquidity. And we don't need to see this candle being a up close candle. It could also be a down close candle wick. But as we see, we have the up close candle that took out the buy sell liquidity. The price closes below that up close candle, creating a change in state of delivery or a order block. And as I said before, price only needs to close below the opening of the up close candle. So after we see price creating this change in state of delivery, we get a immediate retracement up to the change in state of delivery. So if you were to take a trade entry, you could short right at the body opening body of the change state of delivery and put your stop at the high of the change state of delivery because we don't want to see price going up to the high of the change state of delivery. Also, as you see, this is high resistance liquidity. So then we would be targeting sell side liquidity all the way down here. And as you see later on, we got more confirmation because price closed below this fairly gap, creating a inversion fairly gap. So already right here, we have two confirmations. The price is willing to go lower into this sell side liquidity and even lower into price. So for the next example, we see price takes out this buy side liquidity. And then we start to go lower, creating a inversion fairly gap, as you see right here. So already, we have one confirmation that price is willing to go lower. Then after that, we see price closes below this change in state of delivery or these up close candles up to the buy sell liquidity. Then after that, we see price makes a retracement up into the buy, no sorry, change in state of delivery, also up to the value gap. So if you were to take a trade entry, you could short right at the bottom of the fairly gap and then put your stop loss at this high right here which is a intermediate term high and the reason i wouldn't put my stop loss 
at this high up here is because we don't need to because if price takes out this intermediate term high we already know that also price is willing to go higher taking out this high resistance liquidity and that we also see price doing right here so if you were to take a trade entry you would enter at the bottom of the further gap put your stop stop loss at the intermediate term high and then we would target sell side liquidity down here and that will make a two or so some of the important things about change in state of delivery is first of all we don't want to see the high of the change in state of delivery get traded back to because most of the time there's high resistance liquidity above the change in state of delivery and then second we all we only need to see price closing uh, in this case below the opening candle of the low and the change of safe delivery so we don't need to see price close below the wick third important thing is that price needs to touch a form of resistance level before we could anticipate a change in state of delivery and that resistance level could be either a higher time frame pdra or buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity as you see we also create a change there for the area down here and last thing is that we use a change in state of delivery as a confirmation tool like a inversion value gap as we have up here also a change in state of delivery could either be one candle or a series of candles so if you like this video please like and subscribe and if there's anything you didn't understand just comment down below also if you like to engage with other traders you can join my discord link in the description